Hi everyone, it's Beck here with um, a video for you for the Swirly Do's Kit Club and today I am made a project with the October Project Add-on Kit and it's a chicken wire frame this month. So what I've done is I've gotten the frame and I started by putting some white gesso on it. It ended up taking me a couple of coats with nice thick gesso. So what I've done is I've just added that evenly to the whole thing and then once it's dry I've taken the Prima Stonewall stencil which comes in the um, the coordinated mediums add-on kit and all I'm doing is I'm also taking the art anthology dimensional medium which also comes in the medium add-on kit and I'm adding that through the stencil this um, medium is really cool. It's all gritty, kind of like sand in it, and it gives a really cool texture with the stencil. So I've just put this around the whole of the frame, just kind of getting those edges as I go, little bits that stick on the edges. So that last little bit is a bit tricky, just carefully get it. And then I've just dried that off with my heat gun. Smoothed off those edges. So once that is all dry, the texture on that is quite good. I'm taking the Blue Fern Mist that is also in the add-on kit, the um, medium add-on kit for October. And I've just sprayed a few bits on there and then I'm mixing that in with my paintbrush. Just to get the edges as well. And I decided I wanted some grey to go with that. So I'm just taking a Lindy's spray in grey and adding that to the pink and also mixing that with my paintbrush and I've just spritzed a bit of water on to help the colours blend and I'm drying that off with my heat gun. I decided that the colours are a bit strong and I wasn't quite a fan so I've just mixed in a bit of the Prima white spray and the grey onto that. The great thing with making an off the page um, project is you can kind of add and take away as much colour as you want. Not quite the same as making a scrapbook page. Now I'm just toning this down with a bit more gesso. I started off by trying to put it on with a sponge. Just adding it to the little ridges that the stencil has made. And then I decided that I was going to move to a paintbrush and just add it on to the little pattern from the stencil. I ended up going with a, an actual larger brush and putting quite a lot of gesso on this off camera to whitewash the whole thing and tone down the colours. I actually liked how it turned out in the end. But again with off the page mixed media you can really add and take away as much colour as you want and just add it until you're happy with what colour you have. And if you have a colour you're not happy with just add more gesso on top to whiten it down and then you can add colour again. So once I have the colour how I want it, I start to embellish. So what I've done is I've taken the um, Prima Metal embellishments that come in the embellishment add-on kit for October. And I've just added one to the top and one to the bottom of it. I've taken the white flowers that come in the project kit and I've also taken some pink flowers. Now the pink flowers do come in the flower add-on kit. Unfortunately I didn't get these but I had some at home. So I used those and this Prima Vine came with the project add-on kit and I'm just cutting it up so I can use all the little bits of leaves around the frame. It's easier if you break it up and then you can kind of add it where you like. And so I've just got little bits of leaves peeking out from my flowers. And that way there's no waste. Use up all the little pieces. Next I'm taking my photos 
I just made a collage of a few photos. Um, it just gives you a smaller photo to work with to put on the frame. You can use any size photos or stick whatever you like on here. Um, this is a Melissa Francis clip that comes in the project add-on kit. I'm just kind of rearranging stuff to decide where my photos like to go. And there's little pegs that also come. These are very cute. They're all kind of glittery. I'm just sticking my photos on with those. And this is a piece of rope that comes actually in the main kit for October. And I'm just using that, sticking it through the little hoops that are on the back of the frame there. And that's how I'm going to hang this on the wall, just with the rope. Just tie that in and up, and that's good. Now I actually decided off camera that I needed something else for that. So I've actually used the little Bow Bunny die cuts that come in the embellishment kit for October and I've just stuck these behind the photos just to give a little bit of extra. And that is my frame finished. So I hope you enjoyed that and if you would like to make your own chicken wire frame head to swillydoos.com to purchase your kit. Thank you very much for watching.